That's right, folks. Today is a Corolla video day. So I finally got all the paperwork straightened out on this thing. Got it fully registered and insured. I've been driving it, but uh, something uh, has me not bothered, but curious. So I looked all over the engine bay for its humming bell sticker. And the only one it's showing is 1024 of 99 at 67,000 miles. Hmm. 67,000 miles. It's 225, if you can see it. So curiosity's got me I need to know what that timing belt looks like because we have import alliance coming up in Atlanta oh wow look at that spark plug wires chewed time to get new ones but uh we have import alliance coming up in Atlanta in less than 30 days we hope some of you guys come out there that'll be awesome not to meet us, of course, to enjoy the festivities. So it's four. So we're gonna pull the valve cover off because on this side of the valve cover, if you pull it off, you can see the top of the belt. And that'll kind of let us know what kind of shape we're looking at. Normally, if a shop changes your belt, they put the sticker on it like they did here, but uh, sometimes they put them in other places. And I've looked and looked and looked, and I just. I don't see another one for the timing belt. So, that being said, we're gonna pull this valve cover. And. See how she looks. These Toyota motors, I have found out, are non interference, which is good. If you break a belt, you just. If you break, sorry, I'm having to do this one-handed. If you break a belt, they just keep on, or not, it doesn't, uh, nothing happens. It just kills the engine, you know. And uh, but pistons don't hit valves or anything like that. You literally just uh, throw another belt on and keep on trucking, which is great. We have found out over the years that some of the Honda engines are interference, and some of them aren't. For example, my gold Honda Civic hatchback, which anybody remembers far back enough to that congratulations for sticking around that long but uh, sorry about the thing it broke the time and built the day I bought it we were able to uh, and I was at wide open throttle banging it from first to second gear doing a burnout like an idiot when it broke I was able to put another belt on it and it just kept on going but some of these Honda motors I thought I loosened that one. Some of them on the motors, you break the belt, it's game over. So I'm going to get this off here. And we'll take a look, see, and see what kind of maintenance we got to do in our future. So the best way to get these stupid little grommets off, usually I like to howl at the moon a little bit. Go to church on Sunday morning, pray to God. Eat me a bologna sandwich with a slice of mayonnaise and tomato. And uh, then if you're lucky... You'll have enough energy to come out here and pry these little things off, which is what I did. So now, moment of truth. I'm going to balance this freaking camera somehow. I haven't figured it out yet, but some way. There we go, that'll work. Let's pull the valve cover. Take your wiring harness and tuck it over to the side, yada yada. This isn't a tutorial, this is a thing that needs to be done. Okay, okay, we do got a uh, new valve cover gasket in here, looks like. Fairly recent, anyway. Cams look good. There's a timing belt. 
And guys, this is exactly what you like to see. Now this is bronze. This is terribly bronzed from oil contamination and stuff over the years and the heat and everything. So I didn't expect that to be super clean. But if you look over here at this timing belt, she looks really good. This thing's had a timing belt put in it since that sticker said, which is good. Because see, the water pump looked pretty good. And usually if you're doing the water pump, you're doing the timing belt too. Uh, you can get a kit. So, see the paint mark on it over there too, where they marked it? That's good, that's good. So it's had a belt put in it, so we don't have to put a belt in it yet. That's good. Alright, we're just checking. <clears throat> I'm uh, very happy to see that that belt has indeed been changed. You can see the dirt and the dirty oil and everything, but that's good. So I'm gonna, I guess that's it. I can put all this shit back together now. We're good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. We don't have to put a uh, timing belt in it. It's not really that big of a pain in the ass. I just didn't want to have to do it before we left for Atlanta. So. Alrighty, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.